happens is they'll go directly. They'll walk in and they'll, you know, they'll put their bag in the locker or they'll just drag their bag around. I'm one of those guys that drags his bag around the gym. But what they'll do is they'll end up, you know, they'll, they'll figure out, okay, today is, okay, we'll just use Monday, for example. And they'll kind of flash back to what they did uh, the week before. And, you know, unfortunately, instead of having any kind of set program or anything like that, they'll just sit back and they'll say, okay, well, I'll just do a few sets of this and a few sets of that. So they'll walk over to the cable machines and, you know, not warm up or anything like that. And they'll, they'll do a few sets of those cable curls, you know, single joint movement there. You know, want to work on those curls, right? Gr uh, curls for the girls. <clears throat> and then they'll, they'll, they'll do some triceps, you know, once again, single joint movement, you know, want to get the back of those arms. And then uh, they might do some like leg extensions or something simple like that. Not really having a program. Okay in place to uh, follow. And what happens is you see these guys and, and they wonder why their growth hasn't moved, why the needle is not moving in the gym in the right direction. Why aren't I starting to look thicker in the mirror? You know, it's interesting if you look at my screen now and you look at how I look on screen and you go back to one of my, my you can go back to any of them really, but if you go back two or three months <clears throat> and you look how much smaller I actually look, um, I will tell you that, uh, I am definitely thicker and my programming it shows it. Uh, Michael Murray, he says, how's, how's it going tonight? Michael, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, things are going great tonight. My friend, uh, had a great evening, uh, before this, uh, live stream with the gentlemen in my men's community that I'm training. It's always great to spend that time with them in, uh, on Sunday evenings, kind of see how the week went for them and their training and their nutrition strategies and how they just check in with them and see how it's going. And that's one of the benefits of training with me is that they have access to me all the time, whether it's through our men's community or one-on-one -on -one discussions or, or group discussions. Excuse me, I, I mistold that one. Group discussions on our Sunday night Zooms. It's great. You know, we spend about an hour to an hour and a half, depending on how many gents get in there. And we just all kind of chit chat and see how things are going with everybody and bounce ideas and discuss things. And it's been a real blessing. You know, here in North Texas, where I live, Michael, it's been really cold. And uh, for us, cold is, you know, it's 40 degrees and windy. You know, if you're living in the north, you know, that's not really cold at all. But down here in Texas, that's that's chilly for us, you know, and these are the chilly months, you know, generally in January, I mean, excuse me, into December through uh, the, the beginning of March, it's really cold like that here, you know, and the wind is the problem. <clears throat> so it's been kind of nice. We kind of hung around the house this weekend and uh, I spent some time with my girl and uh, my daughter did some training together as a family. Uh, yesterday morning, bright and early, we get up on Saturday mornings at about 5.45 and hit the gym. We're at the gym by 7 a.m. on Saturday mornings. We aren't like the typical family, right? Michael, we like to hit it up early and get it out of the way. And uh, then we have our whole day just to kind of relax and do whatever, whatever we want. My daughter's boyfriend, believe it or not, Michael, is a, he's big into to bodybuilding and training as well. And uh, she went and hung out with him at the gym last night. So she actually hit it twice yesterday. Super impressed with her. So things are going great. And I appreciate you asking and stopping by to listen to this discussion tonight. Um, you know, and to circle back on why uh, the single joint movements are a waste of time. You know, a lot of guys, they struggle with this because the simple fact is, is they think uh, if they don't have any kind of programming, if they don't have to, they can just walk in the gym and they can magically build muscle. Okay. Or they can have the perfect uh, environment of let's let's build a lot of muscle and lose a lot of fat at the same time. You know, there's a lot of guys out there in the manosphere and on social media that promote, uh, oh well, if you just do it like this, my friends, you can you can look like me in six weeks, eight weeks. You know, and, and <clears throat> you know, and and you'll see these guys. They'll be doing these workouts. You know, they'll be doing some curls over there. You know, ni nice and slow and controlled, or they'll be doing some tricep extensions. You know, to get the back of the arms going, or some 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 shoulder raises or something silly like that. But what they're not showing you is uh, the drug abuse, really, the drugs that they're using to get that look, so to speak. And I can normally weed them out pretty quick. You know, if you're a natural gent. Uh, and unfortunately you've made some poor decisions, which, Hey, right here, I'm one of those guys, folks, I have made a lot of poor decisions in my life. Um, when it comes to food and, and food control and alcohol, you know, uh, I will tell you that, uh, that's just not practical. 
And that's why single joint movements for a ma- of the vast majority of folks in the gym are a huge waste of time. You know, and even for the ladies, right? You know, how many girls have you ever heard or ladies, you know, have you heard say this, especially men that are married? You know, you start getting in shape, you start looking better, okay? And, you know, the first thing that happens is ladies get a little insecure, right? They see their man going to the gym. He's starting to look a little more buff. I had a gent actually reach out to me in one of the chats on one of the live streams from last week about this. And he said, you know, his wife, you know, had had mentioned, hey, are you cheating on me? <laughs> you know, and really what that is, is dread, you know, because he's improving himself. He's getting better and he's looking towards improvement and he's getting, you know, stronger and he's building some muscle and losing some weight. And he's starting to improve his health, you know, and and so how many times have we heard ladies in our lives or just ladies in general, if you're at the gym, they don't want to get they don't want to get too big, you know, so they'll they'll go to they'll get they'll get to the gym and they'll do some treadmill work and some cardio and stuff like that. And I will tell you that it is it is it is impossible for a woman to look like a man if she lifts weights. Okay, now. There are some freaks of nature out there. So there's like these massive, there's like an anomaly. Okay. There's, this anomaly is like 0.000001% of the population of women uh, that can walk into the weight, the weight room. Okay. And just start building muscle like a man does. Okay. And that's just genetics. Okay. Uh, but the vast majority of ladies, they can't do that. Okay. And so when it comes to, I don't want to get too big, they, they tend to do the whole, well, I'm going to do some cardio or I might do a couple of single joint movements, you know, like some leg extensions or hamstring curls or the glutinator or whatever like that to get the, the booty looking tight. And um, <clears throat> they're wasting their time too. If you are in the gym, okay, and I don't care how old you are and how experienced you are, if you want to build real muscle, you want to do multi-joint movements. Okay, you want to recruit as much muscle fiber as possible, as often as possible through appropriate stimulus, my friends, to build that muscle. Okay, and if you're in and if you're looking for that perfect world, okay, the perfect world is hey, Phil, I get this one a lot. Hey, Phil, this is what I really want. I want to lose some fat and I want to build some muscle. Okay, in that perfect world environment, you are not going to do single joint movement exercises as well. Okay, so what does that look like? Okay, instead of isolating each muscle group, okay, do multi joint movements. Okay, what I encourage a lot of men to do that are trying to improve their physique or lose some weight at the same time is I get them to do whole or full body workouts. And that, my friends, is the key to the kingdom. There's a lot of guys out there who won't tell you the secrets, and I'm just going to give them away right here on this live stream. As often as I talk about fitness, I'm going to give away keys to the game for free. Most of the men that I work with, okay, and even the ladies that I've worked with, if they are looking to lose weight, we train their whole body. And believe it or not, the guys that are training their whole body and doing multi-joint movements lose the most and deposed tissue, tissue, excuse me, which is fat, and build the most lean muscle tissue, which is muscle. And that's what we're all after, right? Especially gents that are looking to improve themselves. Because once again, you know, they're going through these, we're all going through this, this thing of evolution, right? You were all changing who we are to a new ideal of what we want to see in the mirror. And how do you get to that ideal? Okay, you can go the long way around. Or you can take the most direct route to get to where you're going. 